Hi, I'm Jerry Guionis, your new favorite Australian. I'm so excited to bring you this BTS video of my experience with Nikon's flagship mirrorless camera, the Z9. As one of the first in the world to try this, I can't wait to share this video with you. Now, I'm a Nikon ambassador. I can't call this a review. I'm simply sharing my experience with it. Enjoy. Hi, I'm Jerry Guionis, a portrait fashion and wedding photographer and filmmaker. I have had one of the best weeks of my life and I've spent it with the Nikon Z9, Nikon's flagship mirrorless camera. Ever since the Nikon Z6 and the Z7, I've been all in with mirrorless, all in. And all eyeballs were on this camera after a week with the Z9, I'm telling you, it is amazing. I was given this camera and here's an assignment. Do what you do, Jerry. I'm like, I photograph portraits, I photograph weddings, fashion, performers, and I want to explore every single genre. So last five days, We've been photographing all these different things and it's come at the right time in my life too because in the last year and a half I have done so much more filmmaking than in my entire career. My video partner Jason Neistat, we actually worked together and we've developed an incredible crew. We've shot music videos this year, we've shot documentaries, we've shot short little films uh, and all of a sudden I've got this 8K video that I can actually play with and it is a serious option for the actual incredible filmmakers out there that want something amazing with incredible glass, incredible color straight out of camera. Now, let me talk to you about the week that we've actually had. So Sunday night, we're photographing in low light, this very, very dark and moody, dramatic location. And I tested out the low light focus and it was amazing. And it's what you'd expect from a flagship camera. We photographed at 6,400 ISO. Uh, 10,000 ISO. So if you can imagine the exposure and how dark this was, and we use eye autofocus, and we tested out the auto area AF, the small area AF, the large area AF, it locked on focus very, very quickly. We use existing light. I photographed uh, Wyatt underneath the lamp, we're like 6,400 ISO. Every single time it was in focus. We also can shoot 4K at 120 frames a second in slow-mo. I'm getting shots that I never would be, like I've never gotten before in my career. The color straight out of camera, of course, is incredible. I think Nikon is famous for getting true color out of camera. So we photographed wedding and fashion that first evening, and it was incredible, it was exhilarating. And then we spent the next, the second and the third days shooting a music video. So Ashley Amber, an incredible artist that we've actually filmed before in a few music videos, was amazing. And what we did is we tested it. So what do you do when you have 8K? Well, first of all, you need a bit of hard drive space, but it's worth the quality, guys. It's 8K. If you photograph an entire scene, you can literally halve your entire area and you're still getting 4K. That is absolutely incredible. Now, the first location, it looked like we're in the back of a clock tower. We were actually doing a couple of different keyframes. So we're going from her face being completely lit and auto area AF, and then we slid all around and did a keyframe where it turned back into her silhouette and it still kept focus. If you're photographing a silhouette, which we did of Ashley in front of that clock tower, for example, it grabbed focus, it grabbed the contrast. It actually knew what we were doing. It gives me confidence, it gives me freedom. Uh, and again, that liberates me that I can spend more time focusing on engaging my client, uh, more time on my composition, my creativity, letting the camera really worry about the focus. I know I'm gonna get great color. I know I'm gonna get an incredible file. Optics is undeniable, but putting all of these features in an incredible body and being able to achieve all these different things, and if you're a filmmaker, you've got 4K slow-mo, you've got 8K, you've got eye focus, you've got everything that you can rely upon. On the second day with Ashley Amber, we actually photographed and filmed in this grand staircase. It was beautiful. It was really amazing. But it really lended itself to actually testing how far we could push the capabilities of using the eye autofocus. And we can, again, spend more time directing and bringing out the best in her. We actually put a slider right in the middle of the staircase and slid right in and kept focus on her the entire time. Then I thought to myself, wait a second, let me test this even further. So what we did is we actually had Ashley sit down on a staircase and then we had this beautiful ornate little banister and, uh, and staircase and the eye would jump across the bars of this ornate framework and keep the focus the entire time. So we tested that and again, to be able to do that, having a slider left and right and actually change the plane of focus and continue that, that would be very, very difficult for a human being to actually do 
with a little focus port and looking at a monitor. So that was incredible. Really loved that. Then we ended up getting her on the, on the, on the balcony. That was the last couple of shots. This beautiful bokeh that we actually had. Um, and it was just beautiful. It rendered the colors beautifully and it was so much fun. And I can't wait for you to see the finished product. Then we come to our fourth day and we're photographing this incredible couple. And as soon as I met them, I just fell in love with both of them. They're a beautiful couple. They just mix in really well. And I, they, they felt to me like you've got this beautiful dark skinned princess and then you've got this, this old school cool vibe and rock star on a day off type of vibe. And I quickly had all these photographs in my head. Now, I've been in love with the sepia picture control. Sepia is, is monotone. It's glorified tones of brown and white. But the sepia picture control actually desaturates the image and adds sepia. It just mutes the colors and gives us this really earthy flavor. We had an incredible time. We shot beautiful portraits. And that was just the morning. Then we photographed Wasta, this incredible designer. She's an ex-humanity performer. She's from African descent. She's just really proud of her heritage. And I'm in love with her, all her designer wear. I'm like, let's actually photograph you and celebrate your heritage. Let's celebrate everything about you. She didn't go halfway with this. She was wearing 100 year old leather garments that she hand sewed, incredible, this incredible outfit. And we photographed her and again, the colors were spectacular. Rendering her skin tone was absolutely beautiful. And then I said to her, I said, I then want to photograph you, um, presuming Skittles just threw up on a photograph. I want all the color in the world in this photograph. It was absolutely perfection. Now, while we were there, I'm like, okay, to this point, I didn't quite test, can the eye autofocus keep up at 20,000 ISO at 200 speed at f2 or 1.2 and 1.8 and she was moving her head left and right forward and back even scooching down away from the camera and bringing her head up she was turning around as she was turning her face around <laughs> the eye autofocus kept the focus on her head she turned around and bang it went on the eye again so again i'm getting these shots that i've never really gotten before because i can totally trust and have confidence in this new technology. Now, I've got goosebumps. I don't know if you can see this closely. We hired uh, incredible performers. I'm like, let me test this properly. So here we are. The very camera that you're actually seeing me on right now, we use this slider left and right, front and back with the performers. We photographed different angles. We photographed into flare, into smoke. And could the eye autofocus catch up? We had uh, Luca, one of the best break dancers in the world, and he was so passionate. He was so into his art. It was absolutely exhilarating. Inhaling the atmosphere and the energy of the room and giving everything to this shoot. I grew up in the 80s, so seeing him do the helicopter and jumping up and down and doing flips. Then I heard the specs, and I didn't believe it until I did it, photographing at 120 frames a second. I can't fathom that. Basically, press the shutter. I'm at photographing an F1.2, F1.8, at a thousandth of a second with an electronic shutter. Now that I'm photographing performers, especially in the last year, year and a half, why would I gamble with the peak of flight? I'm gonna photograph at 120 frames a second and have a look. And guess what? I would go back and it almost looked like a, an eight millimeter short film. So one, it was actually really fun to see, but I could just choose the best shot rather than actually be a bit more prude with how many photographs that I take. There I was photographing these incredible tap dancers, John and Sean, our world-class athletes. I've seen them perform. I didn't actually realize who they were, but I've seen shows without performing in there. And I love the art form, but their joy, they've got this old school swagger with this contemporary charm and to hear them tap and, and they're, they're just perfectionists. And that's what I love about them is that they just, they expect a lot of themselves. And I'm photographing 20 photographs in one second. And again, I would simply go back and look at the peak of their flight and I know I've nailed it. I'm like, I took the shots and I look around, I'm looking left and right, I'm like, guys, I'm sort of done. Do I, I've already got gold here, what do I do here? And again, I'm getting shots that I never would normally get. So we filmed Natalia, this incredible dancer with this cylinder sort of going left and right and forward and back, uh, it's absolutely beautiful. It, focused on her eye, even past these cylinders that are going left and right around her, which I found extraordinary. 
and it rendered the colors beautifully too. So there it was, I'm photographing Marina the Ballerina. Now in this particular environment, as you can see, with smoke all around, you would, one would consider this to be hard to, to focus, but the eye autofocus kept it every single time. I just have to click the shutter, let the camera do the heavy lifting, and life is good. I think gone the times where you might photograph 10 frames, especially in full length, and hoping that maybe one or two might be in focus. How much can we rely and have confidence in the Nikon flagship mirrorless camera, the Z9? And I'm telling you, we can. As a wedding photographer, I have confidence that this camera can perform in low light at ridiculous ISOs, catch contrast, catch focus, and it's been the camera that we've been really waiting for and yearning for. This is the one, guys. As a portrait photographer, I can put it on eye autofocus, put my camera on a tripod, engage my clients, and know that the camera can focus at shallow depth of fields at 1.2 and 1.8 and all those kinds of things. As a fashion photographer, I get the colors that I'm wanting and those beautiful colors that, again, Nikon is famous for. And now that I'm actually been photographing performers the last couple of years, I'm capturing these incredible athletes, these world-class athletes in full flight at the peak of their performance. And I can do that now with full confidence. And as a filmmaker and developing my filmmaking skills the last couple of years, I can tell you that actually filming in 8K, in camera, with no need of another device, is absolutely incredible. All I can say, guys, that you've got to check out this camera because to be able to create all of these shots in one week and test it out fully and it did not fail once, that is what I've been waiting for. That's what you've been waiting for. But I hope you enjoy the images that we shared and the films that we shared. And uh, remember, you don't have to be the best. You simply have to be better than last week. Hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you want to learn more from me, click on the link above or in the description below to access a free two-hour tutorial on photography tips and tricks, including posing and lighting. And if you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, if you want to see more of these videos. Make sure you click on the bell to get notifications when I release a new video. And of course, please comment so we can connect in the future. Thank you so much, guys, and goodbye from your favorite Australian.